So basically, I am in Las Vegas. I am stopping here before I go on my mission trip because it was a lot cheaper to fly to Las Vegas instead of LAX. So your bag tag is tagged all the way through. All right. to put in your bag up in your final destination. All right, guys. So I'm at the airport. My luggage ended up being a little too fat. She ended up giving me the checked luggage for free. I originally did not want to do checked luggage just because I do not want to have to hassle with trying to find it. But if it's too fat and she gave it to me for free, I might as well. So I'm now heading to my gate. This is really weird being at the airport by myself. I really like have no idea what I'm doing, but you know what, it's okay. Alright, I just passed security. Now it's time to find my gate. What's my gate? Let me look it up. This is honestly not hard at all. I was kind of stressing up for nothing. Okay, gate seven. Wrong way. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I left my passport on there. Oh my goodness, that would have been so bad. This is honestly not hard at all. I can't believe I left, left, left this on the chair. That's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, I really need like paying attention. Alright, so I'm here at Starbucks. Honestly, no, they really shook me out by like leaving my passport. Like, that was such a close call. Alright, I am vlogging. People on the live say hi. I'm vlogging. Well, there's Stella. Hey guys, what's up? So, it's a couple hours later. Um, the past time, I literally just went live. I went live on my Instagram for a little bit. It was honestly not that hard to find my gate. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot harder, but thank God it was a lot easier than I thought it was. It leaves in an hour, so I'm just going to be sitting here, maybe editing a video, and just chilling. Seven flight to Toronto. So I'm excited to go to Toronto. I've been there before, so I'll let you guys when in there. Right. Which one? Sorry, I'm not. I don't know which one. That's in the morning. Oh, <laughs> so I know that ain't. <laughs> Level 19. What services to Toronto? Okay, go Thanks so it. much. Have a good day. Zone one. I'm boarding the plane. I need to figure out what seat I'm in, so well, let me figure this out real quick. Alright, I boarded my flight. The plane is pretty empty right now. I found my terminal. So, and I got a window seat, guys. How cool is that? Got some good views for, like, the vlog, but I'm just chilling here now. Hopefully I don't need to use a restroom because I want to climb over all these people, but I'm excited. I'm finally here. There's, like, no one on the plane yet. I'm kind of early. Boarded. I boarded like right when they said the camp. Just that I'm here, I got my seat already. So the plane takes off, I think, in like 45 minutes. So, yay! I thought it was going to be a seven hour flight and it was a four hour flight because of the time change but the time change is literally so confusing like literally in 30 minutes it changed from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. like also I am so hungry I haven't eaten in so long and all the food that I wanted to order off the menu they didn't have the first thing I see when I come out of the door is Tim Hortons Guys, I just got Tim Hortons and oh my goodness, I forgot, I forgot my sandwich, I forgot how good these are. Alright, 
got my sandwich and now I just need to find where my gate is so I can literally just chill there for three hours until my next flight is so I'm so excited to eat this. Alright. Um I was gonna go through security to go to my next gate. Let me show you. We said I have to finish my scan first, so. Oh. It's actually really good. The, the texture of the donut is a little bready. Okay, so I have my hash brown. It tastes like a baked potato. And then my breakfast sandwich. Man, this egg looks really weird. Let's try it. It's actually really good. So I'm sitting at my gate, or like whatever it's called. I am so tired. Oh, I literally just pulled one on it, and that's like insane. Like I did not sleep at all in the plane ride. At all. So. And I can't really sleep on this one because it's like an hour. I'm so tired. I haven't pulled on either in so long, so I'm literally just sitting on the floor, charging my phone, um, I'm watching YouTube, and I'm just gonna chill here. I changed my shoes, changed to my Birkenstocks, and I'm literally just gonna be like chilling here for like an hour before I board. WestJet announces the following gate change. Wow, okay, so. Wow, okay, so. I was just chilling here on my phone, charging, charging, my, charging my phone, watching YouTube, and I was updating the vlog. This guy walks by, and he kind of gives me like a weird look. And then he walked past me again, like back to where I was, and he sat in front of me, and he's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "I'm vlogging." He's like, "Oh yeah, I thought so." Looking at my camera. Asked what my channel was, he asked what I did for a living, asked where I was staying, what I'm doing here, and I'm like, I'm staying in, I don't know the exact place, um, but it's somewhere. I was like holding my bag with my arm just in case I grab it and run away. So, um, that was really awkward. I was texting my LIC friends during it, like, guys, call me so I can act like I'm busy so I can walk away. He's like, oh, let's keep in touch. He's like, you should come to my park. I'm like, your park? You should come to one of our services. He's like, oh yeah, I'll think about that. And then he got my Facebook and like he walked through. Like, that was so weird. There's my plane. Hey guys, so it's me like a month after the trip and I'm editing it. And I realized that during the vlog, I never like finished telling this story about that creepy guy. So that, it didn't end there, my friends. It did not end there. I said, I had a few more encounters with him at the airport after that story. So, um, we boarded the plane. I was like, okay, cool. I'm safe. Don't have to worry about getting kidnapped. Like that creepy guy's gone. Um, no. So I boarded the plane, and God knows why, but the same guy was on the same plane. Out of everyone in the airport, that person is on the same plane. Can we just, can we just think about that? Anyway, so, he's on the same plane. I'm sitting there. I didn't know he's on the same plane until I see him walking up to me on the plane. I'm sitting in the back. He's sitting in the front, so clearly he just went out of his way to talk to me. And I'm sitting there, I'm walks up to me, and I'm just like... This is not about to happen. And my worst nightmare will be like him sitting next to me on the plane the way from Toronto to Quebec. Like that was my worst nightmare. Thankfully that did not happen. He's had another seat. But he comes up to me, sits in the chair close to me, very closely again. Um and he's like, Oh, your Facebook is not working. I'm like, hmm. Well that's so weird. I don't know. I think it's maybe the Wi Fi. Me and my head, I know I blocked Marty. That's why it didn't happen. But I was panicking and I didn't mean to lie. But I said, I don't know if it's really considered a lie, but that's just, you know. It was definitely wasn't like the honest thing, but I was trying to protect myself. So it's like, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't, it's not, I don't know how, I, I really just have no idea. He's like, okay, well, we'll try back in Quebec. Look, we'll try when we land. <laughs> 
so um we land finally everyone gets off the plane and i'm just like delayed because i'm handling stuff trying to find my way I'm delayed on the phone so everyone else has got their luggage ready and left so i'm just coming down really really late and the luggage part is empty where everyone comes off except this one human being that is waiting for me there <laughs> i'm going down the escalators and i see him i'm like lord have mercy i need your protection right now <sighs> so he waited for me down there and um he's like oh my oh i see him i'm like oh my goodness up the ignore him so i walk around the like thing to get my luggage and he's walking around to kind of meet me and he's like oh hi i literally don't even remember what he said to me but he's like oh yeah your facebook is not working um remember my name but, like i don't even remember his name he's like remember my name okay look me up on facebook i'm like uh, okay will do and then his dad is like right next to him it's literally the weirdest weirdest situation ever um, but yeah, that was it. It was the devil testing me before my trip. I know it. <laughs>